here this evening to uh, confirm that New Jersey Transit has come to a tentative agreement with the coalition comprised of all 11 unions representing over 4,200 New Jersey Transit employees. The agreement, of course, must still be ratified by the rank and file members of the union. It's good news on many levels. First, we avert a strike and the damage it would do to our economy. And we've reached an agreement that is longer than the uh, presidential executive board recommendation, covering not only the period since 2011 when the last contract expired, but now through the end of 2019. Uh, this is going to give workers and commuters a measure of certainty and stability uh, as we go forward. Um, this agreement has come after long and hard negotiations and compromises on both sides. I want to thank all the people at New Jersey Transit, our negotiator, and the union representation for maintaining good faith negotiations throughout um, all the talks and for averting what could have been a very difficult, uh, troublesome work stoppage, not only for the employees in New Jersey Transit, but also uh, for the commuters who use New Jersey Transit um, every day. From the perspective of the New Jersey taxpayers and the New Jersey Transit uh, fare payers, uh, who I represent, I want to let you know we've settled the contract with their interest being placed before any other interest. Uh, that's a reform we promised when I first became governor and one that I promise to continue to champion over the next two years in New Jersey. I'm very happy that we resolved this agreement before our transit system and our economy were disrupted by the threatened strike. And again, I want to thank everyone who helped to make it possible. Uh, I'm happy to take your questions.